Welcome back everybody and today we'll be continuing our lightsaber crystal series. For today's video we'll be discussing the extremely rare lightsaber color pink and exactly how Jedi acquired this lightsaber color. As for this video we will be strictly pertaining to Star Wars Legends so keep that duly noted that there will be very little to no canon Star Wars content within this video as the pink color in Star Wars canon currently does not exist. So without further ado let's discuss the Dantari lightsaber crystal. The Dantari lightsaber crystal crystals are uniquely found on the planet of Dantooine, the same planet that would later become a rebel stronghold during the time of the Empire. A Dantari lightsaber crystal could only be found in the eggs of a Kinrath, a Kinrath being a dangerous species on the planet. However, the lightsaber crystals could only be found extremely rarely in a Kinrath species, and it would be dangerous to acquire the eggs of a Kinrath so the force wielders had to be very careful. Most force wielders that acquired a crystal here were extremely skilled in the ability of beast control, meaning they could subtly manipulate the mind of a Kinrath before they acquired their egg and searched for a lightsaber crystal. But again, this process was extremely dangerous, as in a lot of cases, the Kinrath were large in number. The Dentari lightsaber crystals, though, had something very unique to them and something that later Star Wars canon would adopt. That being, a Dentari lightsaber crystal would actually imprint upon the force wielder that claimed it. So the Dentari crystal would adopt a color similar to the force wielder, just as is done in Star Wars canon when a force wielder imbues upon a crystal. The Dentari lightsaber crystals were famous for producing extremely rare colors, again with pink being among these, but also colors such as purple and yellow. They also produced more common colors though such as red, green, and blue. But a Dentari lightsaber crystal is one of the rare occasions where a force wielder could actually gain a pink lightsaber crystal. A Dentari lightsaber crystal also held a few special abilities within the crystal that would aid the wielder. During the heat of a force battle, or a lightsaber duel, a Dantari lightsaber crystal would actually collect stray force energy, recycling that force energy back into the wielder, meaning that the wielder of a Dantari lightsaber crystal could fight far longer than is normal. This also meant that the force itself was a little bit more prominent within a Dantari lightsaber crystal. If a Dantari lightsaber crystal was used to its maximum degree, the wielder of the crystal would not get tired, as all the force energy that the wielder expelled would simply be recycled back into them. Thanks to the crystal and its special alignment with the wielder. Perhaps the most famous wielder of a Dantari lightsaber crystal was Jedi Master Mitra Surik. Mitra Surik who would later go on to claim a yellow lightsaber, but would later claim a blue lightsaber. Dantooine was the place where most Jedi acquired their lightsaber crystals before they discovered Ilum, and because Ilum was a less threatening planet, the Jedi ultimately decided to move there. However, for those Jedi that were adventurous and powerful, they would venture to Dantooine, especially if they wanted to acquire a rare lightsaber crystal, with pink and yellow being the most desirable that could be found there. But what are your thoughts on the Dantari lightsaber crystal and had you heard of it before this video? Also, what are your thoughts on the properties of a Dantari lightsaber crystal and its pink coloration? Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Don't forget to suggest more lightsabers and lightsaber crystals in the comments down below. May the force be with you and have a great day.